Beneteau have updated their popular Oceanus 41. They've added a decimal point, giving us this, the 41.1. The Finnock Conch designed hull is largely unchanged, but this updated version has the potential to be more popular than its predecessor. On first impressions, it's a smart looking boat with Beneteau's signature lines and chined hull. One of my first impressions of the Beneteau Oceanus 41.1 is this huge cockpit. I love the cockpit table that folds out to a really good size. It's a really good place for entertaining. It's a really light open cabin. You've got lots of natural light from the cabin windows and the hull windows which have been made larger in this edition of the boat. The floor is all one level so it really flows through the different cabins. You have the option to personalise with timber colours and upholstery. And up the bow here, you've got the main cabin. So you've got this double bed, which is quite unique on a boat this size, which would normally have a V-berth or an angled bed. But I really love the double opening doors in this main cabin, which just give you the option to open up the cabin that little bit more. I'm finding plenty of storage options, but mostly for wine, which is pretty typical for a French boat. You've got wine storage here, here, in this cabinet here, and there's actually a big wine storage area in the build as well. A lot of the updates that have been made to this edition have been done so using owner feedback. So you've got things like the large single sink and you've got access to the fridge from the top and the side. I also love the large gimbling oven. This is the 45 horsepower Yamaha engine. It's a new common rail engine, so it's smaller, it's quieter, produces less emissions, it's digitally controlled, and it's more powerful than another 45 horsepower engine of this size. I'm also impressed with the way it's laid out. You've got the seawater strainer here and the impeller, really easy to access. Over here, you've got the easy ability to change over your water tanks. I think people can really underestimate the convenience of having a production design yacht. This is all really easy to access under the companionway stairs. by what an easy boat it is to sail. It's very simple. The rig on this boat is quite a long way back, so you've got a nice balanced rig. Boat balances nicely. This boat doesn't have a self-tacking jib, but with only a little bit of overlap, it's actually really easy to throw through a tack anyway. Just to make life even easier, we've got an electric winch to pull up our halyards and to control our mainsail. And an option is actually to have electric winches down here as well. The performance options include option for asymmetric spinnaker, you've got a German main seat system and performance sails of course as well. We haven't got a huge amount of wind today, but we have seen in little gusts of eight knots, the boat has pretty easily reached six knots, so it does move and get up those speeds pretty easily. I'm told in a bit more wind, she's a pretty comfortable boat to sail. Those chines and the, and the width back here really mean that she won't heel over too much. The fully integrated tow rail is another update on this edition of the boat, and I'm loving it. So it's very secure, there's no way toes are going to slip over the side, and it looks pretty good as well. So we have a swim platform that comes down with the touch of a button. It's a little bit fancy. And I'm loving how these seats will come up and out of the way as well. This is a really nice big swimming platform, really great for getting in and out of the water or even jumping in and out of a dinghy or boarding at the dock. The Beneteau Oceanus 41.1 is a boat for sailors who enjoy easy and comfortable cruising. Not that there's anything stopping you from entering in your local races either, as many are. While it offers all the convenience of a production boat, there's also a lot of options to personalise. This is a boat for those who enjoy comfort and maybe even a little style on the water. 